so hello and welcome to another one we are on day two proper day two or day one and a half i don't know day two and a half um it's not morning because we had a bit of a lie in this morning and poor andre was feeling poorly he had to, he needed a poo <laughs> they're laughing back here so yeah he's, he's all right now um but we've come down to we've come down to saxon uh saxon is a really 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 nice popular little village uh, we're in the church at the moment. I've just taken a couple of little handheld shots, got down really, really low, tried to use the wooden crosses as sort of lines and foreground. And I think it works really, really well. It looks really good. The sky was really blue just now, but for whatever reason, suddenly we've got clouds coming over. Um, definitely, we've got different conditions today. So we're gonna have a look at something a little bit different. We're just gonna literally drive around again. It's just random taking photographs like a clever tourist, if you like. Um, just going off the beaten track a little bit, looking at things that you wouldn't normally take or do uh, in the touristy you know, places. Um, so yeah, that's my little opening speech for this morning and not sure where we're going next, but we will see you whenever we get there. So the good lady wife wanted a selfie up there, similar to what Andre took a while ago. So she's just been up underneath the waterfall and I've just been taking a couple of photographs of her. Uh, just hold that, I'll see if I can show you. She just wanted a bit of a selfie and uh, I think we managed to get what she wants. I'll put it up on the screen for you. Oh, there you are, sleep down here. Hang on, yeah, was, we were talking to the sky. <laughs> oh, what? Did you, I hope you didn't hear that. Bleep, bleep, bleep zoom in she's flying yeah you've flown all that bit out so don't want the little bit underneath yeah. uh, let's have another look we've got one that way as well and underneath there there she is pulling a pose that do you <laughs> so yeah we've got a shot I said it's not a lot of water here but um, it's an impressive drop nevertheless so uh, yeah I'm gonna put a longer lens on I think let's see if I can get a slightly better shot of it and uh, yeah it's just difficult you need that big heavy gust of water but it's a very high very impressive waterfall nevertheless working for me I've taken a couple of sort of close-up shots but I think I want to see that more dramatic overpowering extreme you know weather force that's coming over the top um, Denise and Andre are down there somewhere uh, they're taking some pictures obviously looking up up to the waterfall and don't get me wrong this is this is a pretty looking thing you know it's a big tall waterfall and this is just one drop you've got another drop above this uh, so yeah it looks pretty good but what's getting me more than anything are these clouds 
<laughs> up on the top of these mountains over there. So I did get a shot down at the road looking at them and they actually impressed me, I think, more than the waterfall at the moment. Um, it's just, just what it is really. But I'm glad I'm here, I'm glad I can have a look because if anything else, if I do bring people here, which I like to say I am doing in 2023 and 2024, I've got a, a couple of uh, uh, photography groups coming over. Uh, this is a location I want to come to and it's nice to scope it out and get the feel of where I can climb up to, what I can walk up to. And there is a, a walk board a little bit closer, which we'll go over and have a little look at. And remembering that when you're walking on this, the rocks and the grass are going to be wet even when it's dry. So I can feel the spray on my face. So you just have to be aware that everything around here can be slippery. We're now on the public walk board. And this is as close as you're supposed to get to the actual waterfall. So. And like I say, it's impressive, but I just want more. <laughs> Look at it. So we've been stopped on the road. We were just making our way down along and they're trying to rein in the sheep. So I'm gonna spin you around. Uh, they've actually put a net across the road and uh, they got the sheep dog out. They're basically bringing the, bringing the sheep down off the mountains. Uh, I said for winter, but Andre said maybe for another reason. <laughs> but yeah, they've got dogs up on the hill and this guy's down here has got a net across the road. So it's obviously to funnel them down off the top of the mountains. So we've got to our next place. This is Chonovic. Chonovic. Um, this is where I took some pictures of the nice patterns in the sands, and you've got the um, great big rocks that are out on the edge of the cliff, which are down yonder, right down there, and I'll show you them in a minute. Um, there's some toilets here, and this should be a cafe in the normal season. But we're just seeing something really weird now. Please don't feel bad about this. This is normal life over here. Um, Andre's never seen it before, but on that house there, I stand very still. You see underneath that balcony? That is a load of sheep's heads. Now, now that may be really weird, but this is what they live here. They live here, they eat sheep, they farm sheep. Uh, we've just had to see, you've just seen the sheep coming across the road. This is a big part of their life. Uh, Andre's never seen that before, but you know, it's, it's interesting to see how other cultures and people live, and that's just weird. Um, weird, weird, weird to see. But, you know, everywhere to their own. Um, we're having a little walk through the village to start with, just to have a bit of a nose. And uh, the churches over here just look fantastic. They look amazing. And some of them are really picturesque. And I'm sure you've already seen the odd picture of mine. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to say, really. I'm one of the most moods today, I'm a bit flat well, all three of us are a little bit the same i think it's because we've been so busy for the last couple of days today's one of those flat days so i'll get i'll talk to you again once you get to down onto the beach i'm sure okay we just got to another place i thought i'd switch you back on we've actually got fish hanging up on the wall as well now so it's like one big restaurant one big restaurant village Mrs. C is now trying to work out how she's going to get these filters on. What's that one? 67. 67. What's that? 62. Uh, I'm not sure we've got the right filter attachments. You might have to use my 300. 62. 
Let's have a look. Let's see if I've got anything in my bag that's going to help her out. She needs to fit the filter ring on there to get her filters on. Otherwise, we've got war. I might have to lend her my other filter. <laughs> <laughs> So we have come to another location. We are in Czech, um, and this is a natural harbour. Um, a lot more dramatic last time I was here, but this is a natural harbour. We're going to go down this side. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, we're looking on the other side of Kalsoy, which is where we were in the last video. We were over the far side looking this direction. Now we come over this. The light is extremely flat, but just to give you a taste, look at the shape of these mountains. Look how pointy and big these are. And this is a beautiful, a really, really nice little village. I quite like this village. I like the style of it and the shape of it. There is a church. Um, we've got the little green church over there. So I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of it looking back towards Kalsoy. But first of all, we're gonna walk up to the edge here just to see if there's an image I can take. The sky is very, very gray, very, very flat looking and it's lost a bit of its pizzazz. Um, so yeah, maybe just a, a record shot. And again, it's somewhere to bring Denise um, and show her around in all fairness, because I have been here and I have seen it in slightly better condition. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when I have a look on the other side. Maybe I can get some long exposure water and I don't know, invent the wheel again, make another image. Andre's now getting very excited because we've just managed to see the seals. I'm pretty sure the same seals that I was photographing last time I was here. And he's just got a corker of an image because Denise said he's got a fish in his mouth and he was flipping a fish around and Andre managed to catch it. <laughs> he was really quick with his camera. So uh, we're going to go down and have a play with the seals, see if we can find them and maybe get a few more shots of them. So let me just put the camera away a moment while I climb down this little bit and we'll see you in a bit. Just remember these wet bits might be slippy. Yeah. Wife, just watch the wet bits. The sea down here is so blue. So we're down on the rocks at the moment, making our way across. And uh, we've got some pretty dramatic looking sort of rocks and shapes here. So I'm gonna see if I can try and get a shot of the, the waves crashing and maybe a couple more pictures of the seals again. This is where I'm in my element when you come to stuff like this. I love all this. This is amazing features and shapes. And then, uh, yeah, I, don't know, I, just, I just like this. I wanna go and see if I can get the seal. So 300 mils coming out. Uh, no, just a bit of a bit of B roll, yeah. I got it. So the camera is actually out. I'm just watching the waves at the moment and trying to get a little bit of a photograph. I've, uh, oh, big splashes. I'm just looking for some splashes. I've got the wide angle lens on because I want to get some interest in the foreground as well. But I don't know whether I'm spoiling it by getting the interest in the foreground. But I've got the mountain behind me and then I'm waiting for them big splashes to come up and trying to get some, you know, just waves crashing over this, uh, these rocks, which are really good. Every so often you get a massive, great big one. But it's very hard to make something interesting because I'm. I'm kind of in the wrong place. I want to get down lower, but by getting down lower, it isn't quite as safe as place to be. 
Um, I've got another plan for another shot in a moment, but at the first of all, I just want to try and get something here that I'm happy with. Some movement, maybe a couple of different variations in shutter speeds, just to get a bit of movement to blend it in with some of the sharper, bigger splashes. So that's the plan, but I can sit here all day listening to this because I absolutely love it. So I've got a bit of a low battery now. I've taken a couple of shots as I've been moving across the rocks, just trying to get something a little bit different. And I think the plan is next time I come to this beach is to actually look into these rock pools and try and, like I always say, invent the wheel or invent the rocks or invent the photograph, you know, trying to get something different that most people wouldn't get. Um, it's a very interesting looking little beach. So I think that's my plan for the next time I visit this area. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that, listening to the sea and watching the, the waves and stuff like that. So my battery's running down low on the Osmo, so I'll speak to you shortly. But yeah, goodbye from Czech. And uh, well, no, it's not. I've got to go to the harbour, so I'll uh, charge it up and I'll speak to you in a minute. Car park stop, we just pulled up on the side of the road. We left check because my battery was dead on the Osmo and I didn't take any more photos anyway. But we're just looking down now to Farengnya. That's where I stayed last time I come and I just wanted to get a picture with this road coming down and the little village in the bottom. So I'm going to snap a quick one of this and uh, yeah, we're going to head on on. Head on on? Head on, you know what I mean. Carry on going. We have just been in the little pig shop, uh, get some shopping for tonight, for dinner, tomorrow and today. Um, and this randomly weird video is going to come to an end. Um, I thought I'd just say goodbye. Uh, we're heading back, it's getting dark and it's time to get some tea. And I'm jumping in the jacuzzi tonight apparently because he's got the jacuzzi ready. So yep, yeah, I'm in it, I'm on it. Out with the shorts, spoiled this weekend. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, just if you're interested, check out next week's video because we're here another day tomorrow. So uh, it's going to be another randomly weird one. So till then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon. Ciao.